Hello friends, my name is Jitendra Bhafna. Today we are going to see how to implement a domain project using MuleSoft. So first you need to understand what is the domain project. Domain project is basically is used to share the resources. So basically whatever resources we define in the domain project that can be shared across the other project okay the like what type of resources basically like if you have defined any HTTP listener into your domain project that listener can be shared across all the application or like uh, whatever application referring to domain project okay so but the domain project can be only deployed on premise mule runtime it cannot be deployed in a cloud up okay so I will show you one use case so basically when you deploy the application on mule runtime let consider if you have deployed your first application on mule runtime on the port 8081 right so that has got deployed and it's working fine now you have created second application and if you try to deploy that second application on port 8081 it will not work it will say the port is already in use or port is already bind okay so how you can solve this issue a simple thing so basically you can define your HTTP listener with port 8081 in the domain project and all the other application okay which needs to be deployed on on-premise runtime they can use the HTTP listener from the domain project like we don't have to define a separate HTTP listener on all the application just you can you can use that connection okay so basically in generally like uh, at enterprise level or whatever like you don't you cannot deploy like if you have a hundred application you cannot deploy all hundred application on a separate port right it will be the headache right to avoid this we can use the domain project I will show you demo I will I will be completely walk through that you know what advantage we are getting from the domain project let me start I will first create a two, two, two applications mule project I will say test one app finish okay so let me create one HTTP listener okay and the console should be here something is going wrong let me correct it okay so let me go to HTTP listener and like start defining the connection and I can say 8081 port okay and I can say test one it's just a simple application just I want to make you understand the concept set payload and I will say response from F1 okay that's it save everything now create a second application say test to F finish go to test to app drag and drop HTTP listener define the connection on port 8081 okay I will keep 8081 and I can say test to okay same thing I will just check for set load and I can say response from app 2 file save all okay so now I will export both the application uh, let me export uh, next I will deploy this on the mule runtime okay finish it okay I have just I will export this also 
next finish okay now second thing let me enable my mule runtime let's wait while mule runtime get initiated okay so you can see the default is deployed now what I will do I have already exported uh, two files okay or two application a test one jar I will copy this and first I will deploy this apps folder just try to deploy this so it will automatically deploy see it jar has been automatically extracted and you can see it here so application has been started let test also uh, let me go to chrome and I will say HTTP localhost 8081 test1 okay we got the response here okay if you see it has downloaded the file okay let me go to download it folder sometime yeah it's fine or uh, open with notepad so it's a response from f1 instead of that I can show you on postman that is the better option okay test one so you got the response from f1 now I will take a second jar I'll go to C drive my drive where I have just created the jar file you just Dell copy this jar okay and now deploy on the same folder e mule run enterprise apps folder and try to deploy it it will be extracted and now see on the it got failed okay you, I could not create a server the server in the port already exists okay so like if if you deploy the same application or like other application on the same port it will not work it will give the error you can see here okay to avoid all those things so what I will do okay I will create and also I will show you one more thing like what advantage we can get currently the size is you know around like 4329 4329 for both the MB it's around 4.5 MB okay I can reduce the size of this okay I will show you how you can do that so for creating the domain project you go to new mule domain project say test domain finish it okay and now create a HTTP listener connection so if you see it create one file mule domain config don't change or don't rename this file name keep as it is okay and like uh, search for HTTP so by default you cannot see the HTTP listener here you can go to manage module add module from exchange and you can search for HTTP connector add finish apply and close now you try to create it you can see HTTP listener okay I will just rename it I will say common or we can HTTP listener okay keep port 8081 I will instead of plus I will use it okay and you save the file okay now we will go to test application global element just delete this uh, connections I don't want it okay just delete this connection don't want it and the second thing you can do like uh, go to pom.xml okay and like I don't want to define my dependency here just cut from here go to domain project in domain project it's already there see socket because I took the HTTP listener right so I don't want it there so it's already there so you don't have to define it again there so go to second project also remove both dependency I don't want it 
save everything now now what you have to do simple like now go to properties of this test one okay go to mule project and just refer the test domain project this is my test domain project apply and close okay now go to test one message flow just try to ch if you see whatever connection we have created you can see in the drop down or it's all automatically taken one thing you need to change it manually just uh, copy this what is the name common http listener see it doesn't automatically change in configuration.xml okay so you can go to configuration okay it's got changed here it's good like comes up it it changed here so you can check always make sure like it is properly or the config rate is uh, you know pointed to proper http listener so test one is done now let me go to test two so if you see test two okay so test two don't let me do one thing properties just refer as test domain apply and close okay and like uh, if you see listener so it totally taken and like check config dot ref okay so it's done okay now what i will do i will stop mule runtime okay i will close the mule runtime just delete those f like you know mule enterprise standalone apps delete uh, everything from here the first thing we need to deploy the domain project okay so i will export it or simply what you can do you go to the uh, location of the domain project okay let me go to my location of the domain project the best way to you know uh, uh, build the domain project so it's a test domain just type cmd mvn clean install okay so let's wait till it uh, okay it has created if you see in the target folder it have a proper domain project so naming should be like that test domain what is snapshot then it it should contain mule hyphen domain jar copy the jar file but there is some separate different way of deploying the domain project the first thing again start the mule runtime i have stopped it okay it's deployed now how to deploy the domain project so there is a domains folder okay by default you can see there is a default domain you paste the jar here refresh it now check it here okay the domain project started now other thing we will going to export this project export even you can use like you know finish export next attach finish okay yes he will notice two thing so let me say okay okay and like go to c drive where my jar file has been created del now you can see the file file size is just 4kb so what we have seen we can reuse the port okay even we can use reuse the dependency okay so now it has created the jar and in this jar it will not include your http listener and the socket jar okay so basically it will not include that instead of that it will use from the domain project so generally we don't deploy the domain project again and again we deploy once okay might be in future there might be minor changes so we deploy it again but we deploy application again and again so it reduce the so what advantage we are getting using the domain project it reduces the size of the jar file also copy this okay go to e drive and apart from that like you know you go to your mule runtime apps folder now you have to deploy application in apps folder i will just deploy both the jar together and refresh it okay it should deploy both see now it started application test 2 as well as the test 1 so now it is using the 8081 from the domain project that's why it able to deploy both the application okay now we can test it so we test one 
the first request always take time so response from f1 again response from f1 now second it should say response from f2 see so now you got it like what advantage we are getting using the domain project and domain project can only be used for the on-premise application not for the cloud of application okay i hope you understand the whole concept of domain project so basically i can give one more thing like if you want to do api auto discovery for the, your on premise application you can define all the properties and everything in the domain project okay you don't have to define in the main pro, uh, in the application which is referring to the domain project the other thing like if you want to do the custom logging or whatever so you can use the log4j2 of domain project instead of define the log4j2 in each or in each and every application okay this is no this is these are the advantage you are getting from the domain project i hope you like this video thanks for watching it